Okay, welcome to lesson two. Um, we are going to make this script. Um, and we're going to do it in two parts because we need to understand uh, what the two relevant parts do. We're going to start off with a when f green flag clicked and a forever loop. And we're going to start off by making this element here. This is an if parameter and this is going to detect when the left key is pressed. By going left we know that our x axis is minus when we go left and it's positive when we go right. So you don't have to do this twice. You can make these blocks together and duplicate it. It's very simple like that. Once you put in the correct, let's make sure I've got the right key pressed. Once you've got the correct key in, I'm uh, going to go and make that a positive 10. So put those in, and we can test that our test that our sprite actually moves now. Yes, it does. Backs and forwards. A nice smooth element. I'm just going to go and stop that. Next we're going to go and use the up key. Now the up key, the up key has several parts to it. I need another I need my other var variable. Set jump to set jump, isn't it? I've got jump. There we go. So the, the bits in here are telling me that if up is pressed, I want all this to go on. So if it's if it's touching black and jump is equal to zero, i.e. it doesn't move, it's not moving, it's not jumping, set jump to one, so it actually jumps. You can play around with these numbers later and see how it affects the, the height and the, the length of jump. When it does jump, when it does jump, you want something, you want to tell it how far and how high you want it to jump. So we're going to repeat 20 and change y by 5. So every time that we jump it'll do it 5 times 20. It'll do 5 bits 20 times if you like. I'm going to pop that in there. And we want this outside so we can set jump to 0 because we want to set it to 0 if it's touching the black. We don't want it to be moving around. We want it just to be nice and smooth over the platform. So we set this to 0. If we set it to minus 1 it would drop. If we send it, set it to 1, it would be like being on the moon. It would just it would keep floating. So this is more or less our gravity here. Put that all together. So in the next part, you'll see how this will, th this sprite will have gravity affecting it. At the moment, it doesn't. But in the next video, part 2, you'll see how we can make this land properly.